Hello, this is BBC World News. I'm Ben Vulos. Our top stories. At least 39 people are killed in a rocket attack on a train station in eastern Ukraine. Hundreds are reported injured. President Zelensky describes the strike as evil with no limits. Shock on the face of the European Commission president as she comes face to face with the reality of war in Ukraine. Here in Bucha, we saw our humanity being shattered. And it is, the whole world is mourning with the people of Bucha. We'll have the latest on Ursula von der Leyen's visit to Ukraine, also on the programme. Emmanuel Macron has warned that nothing is impossible, as polls suggest his lead over far-right rival Marine Le Pen is narrowing in the run-up to Sunday's presidential election. Hello and a very warm welcome to BBC World News. It's good to have you with us. Russia has denied launching a missile strike on a railway station in eastern Ukraine in which 40 people are believed to have died and many hundreds injured. Russian forces have been accused of deliberately targeting the station in the city of Kramatorsk. The mayor of the city, Alexander Goncharenko, said the area had been full of people trying to escape the fighting in the east of the country. Cities in the wider Donbass region of eastern Ukraine have come under renewed attack as Russian troops refocus their war effort on the area. The Ukrainian government had urged civilians to leave as the fighting intensified. Meanwhile, Britain's Ministry of Defence says Russian troops have now fully withdrawn from northern Ukraine to Belarus and back to Russia. UK government experts think any mass redeployment from the north to the east could take at least a week. Now, our correspondent in Ukraine, Emma Vardy, has the latest. 